Should I get closer? Should I be over here? Hi my loves, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Maria Fade, the Maria Fade on all social media platforms. And on this channel, we talk about everything fashion, obviously, content creation and personal growth, how you're gonna be able to get to do everything you need to do. And if you're ready for today, let's get into it. Today, we are gonna be talking about the five, not 10, five, the five summer fashion must-haves to update your closet with for summer 2022 and every summer after that. You may not know this, but I am an expert on summer. How, you may ask? Well, I've lived in Miami for about 20 years. This is like most of my life. This is pretty much all I know, Miami weather. It's very similar to Nigeria. I had to get up to make sure that we were still recording because I can't see myself. And that's why I'm getting a camera soon. So I am an expert in summer. You don't have to question it. Welcome to school. I'll be showing you example. Okay. If you know anything about Miami, if you've ever been on a Miami trip, if you've got a girl's trip to Miami, you know that 82, 85, maybe 9% of the time, it is hot here. Local Miami is like to say we have hot and less hot weather. I have a disclaimer for these. Of course, it's up to you what you choose to wear. But on top of that, you have to pick things in your closet. If you want to have a closet that works for you, you have to pick things that fit your lifestyle. What do I mean? If you live in a place like New York or you live in Vermont, I don't know why I thought Vermont, but if you live in a super cold place, there's no need for you to get a closet full of shorts. Maybe you get two, three months of summertime. So why would you need all that shorts? wear things that are appropriate for you but these are some five essentials that you can add to your closet and it will upgrade you and get you ready for summer 2022 and above what do you dress like when it's hot most of the time i'm gonna tell you some of these rules that i'm about to tell you i break on myself there is no way that i live in miami and i'm always gonna dress in summertime clothing i sometimes want to dress and pretend i'm in a fall area number one summer must have for me are light colored tops specifically light colored button down long sleeve tops long sleeve button down tops are a great essential to have in your closet because you can wear them as a top you can wear them as a cover-up you can wear them as just a jacket like a shirt jacket light material linen you're talking your cottons because obviously lighter colors keep you a little bit breezier than dark colors which absorb all the heat so you can get a lot of tops button down and everything thrifted thrifted is a great place for your button down shirts there's like a dime a dozen there's so many tops there you can go there for your tops you can also try mango target you can try h and you can try so many places like that that have I would say more office wear or office formal wear number two so we have two items here light and airy in this situation is just great for the heat so that's why a lot of times when it comes to spring to summer, you see a lot of light airy colors come into play and everyone's like, oh, the trend is light and airy. It's not that much of a trend. It's just because it's hotter now and we're not gonna keep all the heat on our body by wearing black and brown the whole time. So we have two items here. You need some shorts and or linen pants. These shorts could be booty shorts. They could be your Daisy Dukes. They could be mom shorts. They could be all the kind of shorts you imagine ever. My personal favorite are white shorts in general, but also include linen pants. So wear some light linen pants or light cotton pants and automatically you look good. You could go out to dinner right after, you could put that in your bag, you know, go right from the beach to a dinner, which happens a lot of the time. I'm telling you Miami lifestyle here, okay? I'm giving you the pro tip on three on my list. A very easy one that people overlook, floral dresses. Floral dresses, light colored dresses, dresses in general, mini dresses, all these little dresses are great essentials to add to your closet. Number four on my list are strappy shoes. Strappy platform shoes, strappy heeled sandals, <laughs> strappy sandals in general, because you want your legs to breathe. I'll be honest with you, you're not gonna find me in a strappy flash shoe for the most part, unless I'm at the beach. If personally, I go for platform sandals. These would be great for going out with your friends and just like hanging out in general. You got yourself a little bit of a button down top. You got some strappy shoes wear them shorts or pants that I talked about with those, you know, whatever top you have. And then pair it with some platform strappy shoes. Places I would go to shop are Charles and Keith, H&M, even Zappos, Macy's, you got yourself in your Amazons. If you can find some thrifted, of course, but those are the places I would recommend for that. Five, number five. <laughs> we are making it to the end. Five is swimwear. Everybody is a bathing suit body. Please repeat after me, class, Everybody is a bathing suit body. Thank you, thank you, 
and thank you. Get yourself some colorful bathing suits. Get yourself some bright bathing suits. Pretend you're buying a body of water in your bathing suit because you deserve to feel good. Again, I've been going with the bright colorful theme. I just like colors in general. I'm Nigerian, it's natural to me. Wear some colors, put some colors in there. Love me a neon piece. Put your button down top on and guess what? Now you got yourself a whole fit. I myself have the three basics. I have black, white, and brown bathing suit. Why? Because I can use it for every other thing. They switch it up as time goes along. But I have a lot of other colors. Get the three basics and then get even more. Get colors, prints, patterns. Love me some patterns. I just always have a basic because then I can wear a pattern top and maybe a white one. And now I mix and match. For bathing suits, a lot of my bathing suits, I have some from Amazon, from Brazil, from Nasty Gal. I have some bathing suits from H&M. There are tons of places you can get bathing suits in the ranges that you can afford financially. Look at the quality, look at the reviews, find your right place. The pencil is going away. The glasses are coming off. I'd love to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments below what you like to see, what kind of styles and trends you want me to make videos about, and what we should learn about together. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching on your phone, on your TV, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time, my loves. Bye.